news week. Uh, but at the same time, let's keep in mind that the battle in relationship to the case of Sean Bell, which in terms of its civil case, has now reached its climax and also set the stage for another level of recognition of the challenges that the black community faces with the NYPD. Uh, this brother has been on the front line, uh, if you will, long enough to remember uh, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Reverend Adam Clayton Powell, and he walks proudly in their footsteps. Can we put our hands together and welcome my brother, the Reverend Adam? Man, you gotta get out the way. Get up there and get him, get him, get him. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to the mayor. And uh, to all of the officials and the members of the panel, to M. Hotel Gary Bird, and to uh, all of our brothers and sisters in Plainfield and uh, in the WBLS, WLIB family, of which I'm a part, and to our uh, mentor and teacher and instructor, Sister Ann Trimble, who teaches us everything we know. I'm glad to be here. I wanted to be here, and obviously we're running around a lot of political stuff going on uh, in the Congress. But I thought that when I heard what WBLS was doing with the mail, it is important that we understand this is not a Plainfield problem. This is an American problem. That's right. And I hope, and I hope as I heard the congressman say, that we take this as a holistic approach. This is not beat down Plainfield. Maybe we can take what happens tonight and how you follow it up mm -hmm. and use it as the lesson to deal with gang activity all over the country. But let me say what a lot of panelists won't say other than Gary Bird and Ann Tripp, and that is that the congressman can bring in all the money, the mayor can save all the police jobs, but unless we in the community do our part, it won't matter. So our right. kids have to stop thinking the only alternative they have in life is joining the game. That's right. Because we are not providing the structures and institutions mm -hmm. for them as an alternative. If you men want daddy your children, hold it, man. That ain't right. And just right now, we got to let us daddy on that. The gang leader becomes the father you wouldn't be. They give them a comradeship that the church or community organization can reach out to be. So it become the one of you, you too holy or too educated to the gang. We got to also look at how we have pushed a lot of these kids out, made them easy recruits for people that would accept them as they are, and turn them into monsters on us. So as we point to the man officials, we need to look at ourselves and realize that we ourselves have got to change our way. We also must follow the example, BLS is the moral authority to do this, we have to quit glorifying gangster life. That's right. When our kids, That's right. That's right. When our kids took off Malcolm X t-shirt, put on Scarface, mm -hmm. and black radio other than BLS start playing these records calling our women names and our own race names, we started glorifying the decadence that now we reap in what we saw. That's right. <laughs> of gangsters. When I was growing up, he talked about Dr. King and, and Adam Clay Pop. Our heroes, Larry Ham in the back, one of the baddest leader in New Jersey. We grew up looking up to people that represented something. We didn't grow up looking up to gangsters. And now you elevate gangsters. You make Nicky Bonds and the gangsters the heroes and wonder why kids are in gangs because you told them that they could only be recognized as a gangster. We need to stop that. We need for adults to come together. And I say again, you brothers have got to quit making babies you ain't going to raise. <laughs> A 
child, but to run around and have a child and walk away like you had a bow.